Greetings, Phil McCordick here with another experiment. This one's super easy, only a couple ingredients, and it's pretty cool. You may have seen it before, it's the oil and water fireworks experiment, but you very rarely see it explained with the science behind it, which I am going to do. But first, the experiment. All you need is some cooking oil, like canola oil, like I have here, and some food coloring, and a glass of water. So what you do is you pour the oil into I guess you need two glasses because you need this glass first. So there we go, just some oil in there, very nice. And then you add some food coloring to it. When you do, you'll notice the food coloring turns into little spheres. It's not mixing with the oil. And after a second or two, you'll notice something else. The drops fall to the bottom of the oil. Why does it do that? Well, we'll get to the science in a minute. Then if you want, you can mix it up. I'm totally gonna mix it up because I've got my paint mixing attachment for my drill. <laughs> okay, wait, hmm, maybe if I, wait, I got it. Nope, nope, bad idea, bad idea. Next time, next time. Right, so mix it up. When you mix it up, the food coloring and the oil still don't mix, just the food coloring spheres turn into, well, lots and lots of smaller spheres. And it looks pretty cool. So then, you guessed it, you take this and you dump it into that. Except, it's not really maxed out enough, so we'll just do that. Yeah, okay, so that's really not maxed out enough. Hold on. Yeah, okay, so you dump the oil and the food coloring Pour it in slowly and let's observe what happens. There are two things we can see right away. The oil and the water aren't mixing and the oil is floating at the top. Soon, explosions of color will start falling from the oil. This experiment lasts for a while and it's really fun to watch. There you go, pretty cool experiment, fun to look at, easy to do, and the science is pretty cool as well. So, the questions are, why does the food coloring sink to the bottom of the oil? Why doesn't the food coloring in the oil mix? Why doesn't the water in the oil mix? Why does the oil stay on top of the water? Why does it take some time for the food coloring to fall through the oil? And why does it go when it does? I'm gonna answer all of those questions, starting with the best one, why does the food coloring go like a firework when it touches the water? Well, the answer to that is because the food coloring and the water are both water. Basically, food coloring is just water with some pigment in it. So it is water-based. So what's going on here, the dye drops are dissolving in the water and in fact looks quite a bit like it does when you just drop a single drop into the water. So the food coloring and the water are both essentially water. And that helps us answer a few other questions like, why doesn't the food coloring in the oil mix? And why doesn't the water in the oil mix? Because they're both water. And water and oil don't mix. In fact, they're famous for not mixing. In fact, there's a video down below called The Physics of Water, which is really awesome, you should check it out, that explains a lot of the stuff behind why water works the way it does. One of the things that's explained in that video is that water is magnets and it sticks to almost everything. Well, almost everything does not include oil. Oil is like, uh-oh, oil is like throwing a magnet at a piece of wood. You're not gonna get any reaction at all. There's no attraction between the molecules of oil and water and that's why they don't mix. Why does the oil stay up here and the food coloring fall down to the bottom of the oil? Well, that has to do with density. And I'm gonna link another video below talking all about density. But the short form is, if something is less dense in a fluid, it'll go to the top. And if something is more dense, it'll sink to the bottom. So when we put the food coloring in the oil, it's more dense than the oil, so it sinks to the bottom. We put the oil in here, it's less dense than the water, so it rises to the top. Now, the final question, why does it take a while for this to happen? Remember that the food coloring is water and it's inside oil and they don't mix. So it's a kind of a sphere of food coloring contained within the oil. Because it's more dense than the oil, it will sink to the bottom, but it doesn't go through. And that's because of surface tension. What is surface tension and how does it work? Well, guess what? Physics of water linked below. But basically it means that the water and the oil, they're not gonna pass through each other because there's a big skin between the two of them and they're kind of fighting and they're, they're too dense to get through, but eventually they do get through. The surface tension will break and there'll be a little gap and then all the water will shoot through that gap and then go 
and do an awesome firework. So there you go, the oil and water fireworks experiment and all the science behind it explained. This video is dedicated to Nate and Maria and their family who support me on Patreon. Nate, Maria, it means a lot to me. And if you would like to support me on Patreon, the link will be down below. Or you could like or subscribe or share this video because that would also help a lot too. And until next time, I'll see you later.